And we are back. Welcome to Pure Polino. This is the 50th episode and the season finale. And with us today, it is one of the biggest shows that I've done. And I'm so proud because the lineup is stellar. In studio, Helene Henderson, chef and owner of Malibu oh, Farm. But you are also the aunt of, of Florence. I am indeed. All right, right, Florence. Well, okay, I was right about one thing. That's good. <laughs> She was a flower girl at my wedding. She was a flower girl at your wedding? Really? Oh, my God. That's so cool. Did she sing at your wedding? Uh, she was like four years old. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you look fantastic. Um, also, I just want to say a couple of really exciting things. Special guest today. Just announced yesterday. Um, one of the biggest openings in downtown L.A., Faith and Flower. We're going to have Chef Michael Hung. Uh, he'll be with us at 10.30. Then at 11.15, we have a law of uh, attraction practitioner, uh, certified life coach, and New York Times bestselling author, Christy Whitman, with us. So we're going to combine today my idea of what a good show is about. Spirituality, astrology, culinary. We got some uh, videos from Steven Tyler ahead because I was at a Marianne Williamson fundraiser. We have music from our very own Sarah Jane, who's going to sing in studio. And we also, this is so exciting, we have a video from Oprah's Life Class, uh, new season of Oprah's Life Class, and Cindy Crawford talking about her biggest failure and how that taught her her passion. And, you know, so, a friend of mine told me about the book, and she said it's great, but she's also Swedish. <laughs> um, she um, so what are, so this all transpired from a couple of, uh, a plot of land, but you had to have a passion. So, and this oh, well, is our thread. Catering. I've been in uh, catering forever. Mm -hmm. I ran another catering company for a long time in LA, which was called Lavender Farm Catering. Mm -hmm. Then I went into private chefing. So I was doing high-end private chefing and we moved to Malibu. We got our animals and our goats and then some of the women in the neighborhood was like, oh, we love your cooking. Will you teach cooking classes? Mm -hmm. So I did it really just for fun. So at first it was three women that came for my cooking class and then uh, one of the husbands, actually, thank you, um, Jared, <laughs> had a great idea. He's like, why don't you post the recipes on a blog? So I was kind of just sitting around going, I have three readers, and what's the name of my blog? Dun, dun, dun. I'm in Malibu. I sort of have a farm. Um, so it was Malibu Farm blog that was just for the readers of the cooking class. And mm -hmm. it went from three women to 30 women to 100 women to five classes a week. And then one day somebody was like, well, you should have a dinner. Primarily so that, you know, the husbands can come and see what we've been cooking and see how fun it is here, or quote, on the farm. And so I had the one dinner, which was in my mind a one-time event. But the second we did it, everyone said, when's the next dinner? Because <laughs> <laughs> it was that good. <laughs> or fun or whatever. And then we started getting emails from all over, sometimes from all over the world. I'm coming to Malibu. How do we visit Malibu Farm? And it's kind of like, oh, you mean my backyard uh, underground? You know, it's so. very interesting because you you were already embarking on what is now a, a, a huge trend in restaurants, having your own farm. Right, right. I started with a farm and you, ended up with a restaurant. Right. <laughs> you started with a farm. And, like Ari Tra uh, Tamer from uh, Alma downtown in downtown L.A., you know, started with a restaurant, but he has a farm in Venice. Right. And, and there's many restaurants, there's one in Chicago, uh, one in New York that is doing this now. And it's really important because really everybody is really understanding the importance of local and organic. And I want to hear your take on this because it's very, it's dear to my heart because we need to know what we're eating. We need to know where it's coming from at all times. And I think that's why um, organic, local, sustainable, and farm to table is so important. Yeah, I mean, half the time uh, people will say, oh, that dinner, that food was so good. It's the best thing I've ever had, which is a huge overstatement. <laughs> but <laughs> because it's probably the simplest thing they ever had. Right. My thing is just get the, get the best thing you can mm -hmm. and do absolutely nothing to it. Or have the confidence to do as little as possible to it. Mm. And I think so many of us are used to eating these ingredient-heavy items that aren't very fresh so suddenly when you're giving somebody something that's just really really simple they'll think it's so delicious right and i really almost only use salt olive oil and uh, lemon that. and that's about it yeah because you believe and trust in your gut in your own farming techniques that that is the best produce that you have and you're bringing it to the table correct Absolutely. Okay. And that's really what it comes down to. And the one thing um, I find when you start gardening is how you, you realize how much it is really fun, but it is also a lot of work. Yeah. And before I farmed, 
I would go to the farmer's market and I would look at them and be like, how much is that? Like, that is just so expensive. <laughs> now, I look at it and go like, wow, that's so cheap. They planted, they harvested, and they're selling that for, you know. So right. it gives you a whole other perspective and you no longer feel like it is expensive to shop at the farmer's market. So. Mm, that's interesting. What are your rules for the kitchen? Do you have any rules? Oh, keep it simple. Yeah. Keep it simple. Keep it simple, stupid. That's yeah. kiss. That's what I learned in <laughs> <laughs> No, when I was a pro- when I was a young, young yeah. broadcaster, they would always say that to me. Keep Remember, kiss. <laughs> keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> so, and I also don't like any fake ingredients, uh, including anything non-fat. I, I I think non-fat is the worst ever, and nothing makes you fat. I'm with you. Uh, fat, so I'm a fan of thing. butter. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> like eat the real thing or eat nothing at all. Right. Yeah. Um, now, the the cafe is really becoming pretty pretty big, and it's on the uh, on the tongues of many people in the industry. Um, are you planning to do any expansion? Oh, we are. Uh, the cafe actually just started out as an extension on my farm dinners. We were talking to. Uh, my husband is a surfer, and he loves the water. So it's like, oh, you should ask the guy who owns the pier if you can have a farm dinner on the pier. And I was like, John. <laughs> Farm dinner. It, we don't go to peers, but he was all pushing about the peer thing. So I'm like, okay, I'll just email this guy who owns the peer. Does he want to have a farm dinner on the peer? And surprisingly, <laughs> the guy was like, yes, sounds like a great idea. Please set up a farm dinner on the pier. So I'm kind of dragging my feet over there like this is the world's stupidest project. Where are my animals? <laughs> um, so we did the dinner on the pier, and the guy was like, hey, the space is uh, open. Do you want to do a little pop-up? cafe in here and at first when we started the conversation it was a three-day pop-up then it went to a 30-day pop-up then you know it's anything it turns into a bigger and bigger project and, mm. and anyway here we are that's so interesting <laughs> she's a capricorn isn't she she's a capricorn <laughs> with libra moon oh what a <laughs> yeah. perfect which libra moon makes you very graceful very elegant but and isn't ev- she so totally much? totally We're doing your chart yeah, yeah i like it <laughs> and, like it. and everything that you that you do is all about making people happy. You know, Libra is ruled by Venus, which is all about beauty. Suzanne and Gowan's harmony. a Libra. Suzanne Gowan, she's nice. a Libra. Libras she's are like super talented. She's super talented, <laughs> and uh, we'll find out what Michael Hung is next. But you know, and that's what makes the you know the chefs when you like you have a beautiful, uh, very simplistic and elegant almost magical restaurant when you get down to and we'll talk about faith and flower in a few minutes with michael hung when you get down to the the uh the decadence of that he do, what what they do is they take the fresh ingredients and then they and, and then they emulsify and they add and they do all these uh techniques that they've learned through staging and, and culinary school um but it's 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 interesting and that's why I love restaurants because each has its own flavor and uniqueness that you can go to at any time. And, you know, uh, overlooking the pier, I wouldn't want anything but Malibu Farm cooking. You know what I mean? The pure. The purity of it, the simplicity simplicity of it. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like God granted you this. You kind of walked into this, didn't you? We walked into it. And I think uh, one of the... The things that gave me freedom was the fact that we didn't lock in a 15-year lease when we started. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like, we're coming here for 30 days. We're getting rid of the fryer. We don't fry shit. We're not doing coke. (laughs) We're not going to have that, right? Because we had the balls to kind of do what we wanted to do because we knew we could get out after 30 days. There's Mm -hmm. only so much money you can lose in 30 days. Right. Right. Um, So... I was like, I'm making green mashed potatoes. Everybody, they want fries, they're getting broccoli mashed potatoes. This is what they're getting. This is what we're serving, right? That's and incredible. That sounds so... Oh, I yeah, 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 I know, right, 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 right. <laughs> uh, people love it, and some people are like, why are my mashed potatoes green? Can I get it? <laughs> <laughs> Helene, you are hilarious. You have a great... Fu- you have a funny side to you. Are you, are you out in the... Uh, of course, you're chef and proprietor, but are you out in the uh, cafe much? Uh, right now, I am, yeah. In the beginning, I was working behind the line, which is... Really hard work. Yeah, uh, it is. I, I was uh, a line cook for a while. That so. is like mm. brutal. That is not for pussies. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Oh, okay. He's already calling. All right, All right great. Um, that means we got to wrap it up. But Helene, uh, let's get to Chef is on the phone. You can you can pull him up. Malibu Cafe, Malibu Farm Cafe. It's uh-huh. online. Let's everybody uh, let everybody know where it's from or uh, how they can get a hold of you. 
All right, we're on the Malibu Sports Fishing Pier. We're mm-hmm. at the very, very end of the pier, which is at 23,000 PCH Boulevard. Okay. And online, your online presence? MalibuFarm.com. MalibuFarm.com. Thank you so much for taking the time Thank to be with us. Thank you for having yes, me. Thank you.